everybody, this is Beetle5 coming at you with another one of my reaction videos. Here with me, I have my good friend, the Ginger. Hello, everyone. And today, we will be reacting to the Flash versus the Quicksilver death battle. Now, oh, yeah. we have been, me and him have been discussing this battle for a good, for like, the past two weeks. And we both agree it is so heavily one-sided towards the Flash. There is no chance that Quicksilver will even come close, yes, to beating the Flash here. And while I do like Marvel over DC... Oh, yeah. Even I'm smart enough to say that the Flash cannot be beat. He's literally the fastest character yeah. in all of fictional history. So And what do you call it? He gains on um, speed force. Right, he gains speed. speed. He's he's literally his brain is also fast. So he's yeah. literally like it's not but just wait. his physical speed that's fast. But, what, but he, one of his abilities is that he can gain speed from other crooks. Like right, he people? can shoot. So, he can shoot lightning. Yeah. He, so he is far out leading Quicksilver. So I don't oh, even yeah. think it's a competition. So, yeah. but no, it could be st still be a good fight. But yeah. regardless, he, let's yeah, begin. He, All right, here we go. Oh, I can't wait. Yeah. A long, long time ago, mankind began to walk, and then we ran. And ever since that moment, we've been pushing speed to its very limit, or in this case, past the point of absurdity. The Flash, DC Comics Scarlet yes. Speedster, and Quicksilver, Marvel's fast-talking Avenger. He's Wiz and I'm Boomstick. And it's our job to analyze their weapons, armor, and skills to find out who would win a death battle. From Wonder Woman to Superman, there is no shortage of DC heroes capable of achieving superhuman feats. But only one is truly synonymous with speed itself. The Flash. Ah! Oh, <laughs> before he became the Flash, the Queen he was only song. known yeah. as Barry That's Allen. Good. Like many superheroes, Barry's lagging in the whole living parent department. One day after returning home, he discovered his mother had been murdered, and his father had been wrongly convicted of the crime. Knowing Dad was innocent, Barry vowed to clear him of the crime and became a forensic scientist for the Central City Police. <laughs> But dear old dad died before Barry could set him free. Racked with grief, this only strengthened Barry's resolve to find his mother's real killer. And on one fateful night when he was doing some sciencey stuff, he got struck by lightning and then fell into some chemicals. <laughs> now, normally, this would be incredibly fatal. But since this is comic books, Alan was imbued with the power yeah. to move his body at incredible speeds and became the Flash. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> You're probably thinking, okay, cool, he's like fast enough to run across water now, but there's a whole slew of other benefits that come with his new power. Like accelerated healing, enhanced strength, the ability to absorb kinetic energy from others, a brain that works faster than a supercomputer, and the ability to throw lightning. To do any of this, Flash draws his power from the Speed Force, an extra-dimensional energy source which, when synced with the living beings by electric field, amplifies and distorts their perception and placement in individual time versus time outside their own field. Huh. What? Uh, in layman's terms, <laughs> it's kind of like uh, the Force in Star Wars, but instead of Jedi tapping into its power, it's comic book speedsters. I see. <laughs> Think of it as its own dimension that the Flash can use as a power source and also enter on his own whim. Plus, it's pretty handy for getting the Flash out of jams when an author writes Oh, Kid form. Flash! Yes, I remember sir. him from Teen Titans. Also, while other speedsters like Max Mercury and Wally West use the speed force, Barry is actually the one who generates it. And boy, can he do some ridiculous stuff. Be beat Superman shove, in a race. He can easily break yeah. the speed of light over 670 million miles per hour. Fuck. He once rescued everyone from a collapsing apartment building, then used the public library to learn everything he needed to rebuild the whole place. <laughs> and then he wow. did it, all before the cops showed up. <laughs> oh, he can run on clouds. He can run he on does clouds. Does vibrating his feet yep. in such a way that the ice crystals within the clouds are collected underneath him to provide footholds. Oh my god. Which is an affront to science. A speed force, Wiz. Anyway, his brain is fast enough to perceive events in less than an attosecond. He once called Atta the supercomputer yep. slow, which, by the way, process at 100,000 trillion wow, smarter than cyborg. a second. The speed force also absorbs damage like a shield, because at this point, what can it do? Make waffles? Probably. He was once blown up by enough grenades to send him flying into a tree, breaking it in half. 
To snap a tree like that requires at least 70,000 pounds of force. Ouch! But he was up and running around in no time thanks to Speed Force healing. Right, like the time he got stabbed through the leg, but minutes later stood up and ran fast enough to outrace a nuclear blast and break the time barrier. Yes, I said time, time barrier. barrier? Did yep. you ever hear the phrase New 52? Like where DC rebooted its whole universe and everyone's backstories? Yeah, Flash... Flash did that. Uh, All of it. Uh, Batman's uh, dad told him yep, to. He's the one. You'd what? think time travel would be an awesome skill to have, but not really in Flash's case. Uh, While well-intentioned, his hot-headed time-hopping adventures usually end up making things worse. Like when he tried to save his mom's life and ended up ruining the entire universe instead. Break the sound barrier and there's a sonic boom. You broke the time barrier, Flash. Time boom. Ripples of distortion radiated out through that point of impact, oh shifting God. everything just a tiny bit, but enough. Also, it is possible for others to disrupt Flash's connection to the Speed Force, making him lose his abilities. But with fast healing, time travel, extra dimensional power, he's done a lot for a guy who can run really fast. Oh, okay. Since when did he wear a ring? Wow, holy fuck. Quick yep. yeah. stand a chance. Once yeah. said, to achieve great things, one must sacrifice stability and push one's limit past sanity. And few people embody those words better than Quicksilver. Wait, who said that quote? I did last week when I got my sweet new dune buggy and jumped that <laughs> lake. No, you just said, hold my beer, and drove it straight into the water. <laughs> well, come on, stay on top of it. Quicksilver goes fast. Uh, yeah, that's true. Oh, man. And I guess your fake quote kind of applies because Quicksilver's life has been anything but stable. I mean, his origin story is absolutely insanely convoluted. I guess that's what happens when competing movie studios both inadvertently own yep. the rights to the same character. Yeah, don't worry. I right, because in, in, in X Men and, and Avengers, sister, the Scarlet right. Witch, we're born Pietro and Wanda to a pair of gypsies named Django and Maria Maximoff. But as babies, they were kidnapped by a guy they call the High Evolutionary. He experimented on the two children and then returned them to their parents. Only now they had super cool powers. But Pietro and Wanda were later tricked into believing that they were the mutant children of Magneto, abandoned by their mother and handed off to gypsies by a cow lady midwife. What the <laughs> hell? You know, this just went Undertale pretty matter. fast. <laughs> They're the kids of gypsies, yeah. cow woman, super cool powers. Well, with all the I'll give credit to that scene. That was an awesome it's scene in X Men: Days of Future Maximus Past. Has been known to bounce from alliance to alliance. Like when Magneto saved him from an angry mob, he joined the Brotherhood of Evil Mutants, where Magneto gave him his sleek costume and his new name, Quicksilver. But when Magneto got his ass kicked, Quicksilver joined the Avengers. Because what's loyalty when you can't even keep track of who your dad is? <laughs> I wish I at least knew where my dad was, though. Probably as far away as possible. <laughs> Probably as far away as possible. One benefit in all this hopping back and forth across the line in the sand is that Quicksilver's had training and experience from both sides of the spectrum, from the likes of Captain America to Mastermind. But really, when you're fast enough to disappear in the blink of an eye, who wouldn't want you on their team? After all, Quicksilver is all about speed. He can heal fast, think fast, learn fast, and of course, run around really freaking fast. He can run around an opponent so fast he forms a tornado, sucking away the oxygen and suffocating them. Huh. He can easily run on water and maintain speeds of more than 700 miles per hour. Can he run on clouds? Long periods of time. <laughs> and if things are looking serious, he can crank it up even further and become fast enough to outrun a radio wave. Radio waves are a kind of electromagnetic radiation and thus travel the same speed as light, meaning Quicksilver can run well over 670 million miles per hour. Much like Wiz seeing himself in the mirror every morning, Quicksilver oh. has survived some pretty terrifying things. Oh, yeah. sick burn. He has taken a hit from some of Marvel's strongest heroes, including Hercules, yep. the god of strength himself. <laughs> he doesn't even flinch at the destructive shockwaves made by his own speed. And one time, he ran up a mountain so fast, he accidentally launched himself into an airplane and fell 39,000 feet down into the ocean. Just saw him 17 survived. minutes before they could pull the trigger. Man, that's crazy to think about. Speaking of thinking, his brain can process and retain information so quickly that he memorized Beethoven's Moonlight Sonata by ear and could play it himself <laughs> in just about a minute. Wow. A feat which takes an average person years to perfect. 
Despite having a taste for calming and refined music, he's incredibly impatient and has been known to lash out in anger and annoyance. Why does that sound familiar? Yep. You shut your mouth before I shut it for you! <laughs> I rest my case. Quicksilver also has a tendency to run headfirst into danger without thinking things through. <laughs> rest your case? I'll rest your case! Alright, just don't trip on that. <laughs> ah, I hurt my balls! <laughs> 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 well, despite his brashness, Quicksilver is a tragedy-hardened speed freak who I wouldn't cross for even a second. Oh, I get it. You're supposed to stop me. Go ahead, try. Next time, try a little harder. All right, the combatants are set. Flash. Still, Let's still for Flash. Sorry. For all. <laughs> it's time it's still for really not even up for the thing. Why did it take two weeks, though, for them to do a, uh, a digital strike death battle? Normally it takes two weeks for them to do the three-dimensional ones, and then one week to do the digital ones. It's a little stupid. Oh, Captain America! <laughs> ah, nice! Please stay calm, miss. I'm coming up there. Oh, dear. No! I don't know which one's gonna save her. Oh, okay, quickly. Oh, oh! I got, got her! her. <laughs> Wait, I got who the her. hell are you? You <laughs> trying to steal my spotlight? Uh, seriously? You've been living under a rock? I'm the Flash, All Star Heroes, fastest man alive. Fastest? <laughs> Bullshit. That's me. <laughs> Let's race to Japan. A race? Well, what the heck? I Before got they even have okay. to catch the girl! I'm the I'm of three. Three. Oh my god! Three. <laughs> oh. Hey, hey, cheap trick, pal. I got another one for you. When is the death battle started exactly? So that's how we're gonna do this, huh? It didn't even say fight yet. <laughs> there, there it is. <laughs> They're playing Super Scrolls theme from Marvel vs. Capcom for this fight. I don't really know how that fits. Right, yeah, exactly. Huh. Maybe this will be interesting that I thought it would be. Oh. Catch you later. Oh, crap. <laughs> what a loser. Hey, man. <laughs> Did you miss me? <laughs> it's a good theme. Holy shit, they're going around the whole world. Yeah. All before they even have to catch the girl. I know in the end one of them's gonna catch the girl. <laughs> this is crazy. Too slow. Oh! Shit, that sounded like it hurt. Oh, he's gonna cut off his oxygen flow. So you're fast, but I'm stronger and smarter. Prove it, tough guy. Okay, this is getting dumb. <laughs> oh, Flash? he went through the time barrier. The hell? What's what? going on? The fuck? You're in the speed, you're in the speed force. force. 
my speed force. I'm sure you feel it. The raw energy coursing all around you. This is the source of my power. And here I am. Oh boy. Oh. 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 Oh shit. Oh. Ew. Well, he won the race. Well, at least you beat me here. Huh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Flashback! Sharp things hurt! Oh, as go. fast as Quicksilver is, the Flash is just much, mm -hmm. much faster. That's fast. Quicksilver clearing the speed of light is great and all, but the Flash has gone ten times that. Through time! Which put him at more than six billion miles per hour. Oh, Plus, Barry can pull other people into the Speed Force and fight them there, giving him a home field advantage. In addition, the Flash's brain can process events in less than an attosecond. And in case you're wondering, 12 attoseconds is the shortest period of time humanity has ever been able to measure. <laughs> this means that while Quicksilver's Beethoven feet proved he can think over 500,000 times faster than an ordinary person, the Flash can think many trillion times faster. Oh he had plenty of time to predict every perceivable action Quicksilver may have taken. Quicksilver has Same. the upper hand in formal combat training, but when you're fighting someone who can move, think, and act way faster than you, there's not really much you can do. You could say this battle was over in a, in a flash. flash. The winner is the Flash. <laughs> <laughs> Next time that on was good. Death Metal. Come on, please be one of my suggestions again, please. Someone from across this nation, the Joker, the Joker? The Verge, Gotham City, are synonymous yes. with crime. The Joker! I love the Joker! Oh, he's my favorite DC movie. Why so serious? <laughs> oh yeah! Oh my god. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Oh, I I'm love Dad, the I Joker. Wednesday. I'm Ben. I play Wiz, and next time we've got the Joker. But who is he gonna be fighting? You can find out by sticking to our social media. That's at Screw Attack on Twitter and official SA on Facebook. Yep. And if you want to watch the episode early, remember sponsors get to watch. I don't even know who the Joker could go against. Early. So I better hope click they have in the description below. Up. You can find out more uh, about it, and you can sign uh, up for thirty days. Wait, wait, wait. Meanwhile, be sure to watch the other things that we put out on the interwebs, like uh, Mulan and the math we did to find out her typhoon. I've seen that already. It's kind of funny. Whatever the heck is over here. Or you can click on us to watch more Death Battle. Or even down below and get some sweet merchandise. Like, it's kind of funny shirt. Oh, I really awesome. buy our merch. <laughs> that's a nice shirt. It is. <laughs> oh, man. They still do good. Yeah, they got to love this. I, I better home Mark Hamill. Uh, he voices the uh, Joker. Because he does it. Yeah, Luke, uh, the guy who plays Luke Skywalker. Oh. Star Wars. Well, he voices uh, the Joker from the Batman uh, anime series. Oh, uh, Batman Beyond, you mean? Or, uh, or the other one? Yeah, the one for the cartoon. Batman. Okay, well, I saw, there was Batman Beyond, and then there was another Batman. One of the yeah. other. Okay, well, he that's did so that, cool. And he also voiced the Joker in the in the Batman Arkham Knight uh, mm, series. I, I can't possibly think of who could go against the Joker. I mean... Yeah, I don't know. I I, don't I, know. I think Deadpool because they're both really loony and shit. But yeah. right, he he's already fought Deathstroke. I don't know. Yeah. That's, that that would be a pretty good death battle to look forward to. Yeah. But like I said, this death battle is so heavily white sided. A blind man could have seen who was gonna win this fight. Flash. Yes. All right. So thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button to leave a comment of what else I should do in the future. And I will see you guys next time. Later. Laters.